Welcome back here to Yifki, Papua New Guinea. My name is Ryan. We're heading over to Wanakipa, just like a 10 minute flight to pick up a kid who actually broke his pelvis bone. It's Monday and it's Thursday today. So let's get out of here and hopefully we can get up to Tari today as well. Do a low start. Once we're over 14% energy, I'll flip my fuel on and then I'll introduce the fuel. Watch NG, make sure my pressure's coming in, my fuel flow is coming in. Once we're past 35% NG, look at the ITT and see what it peaks out at. Make sure it's not going to the yellow. Well, it was a lot of work getting in here today. <laughs> not as always, but it was a lot of work getting in here today, VFR. But that's really the only way I, a couple of you guys have asked, do we have instrument approaches for these type of places, and no. We have in-route charts that we've made up on our own. And then we have to get uh, VMC again before we can get back in here and work our way through the valley and all around the clouds. But just down the valley is where we're going, and it's a wide valley, so it should work out, I think, pretty good. Fuel caps and our selectors are all good. Controls are good. I'll turn off pause, our train awareness system for this flight. We're just going up to 6,000 at most. We are 5,600 pounds, so let's rotate at 56 and 65 if we had to come back in. All of our T's and P's are good. Our trims, let's go ahead and start setting up now. And I'll get my radar going as well. Let's put it on standby. Warms up the gimbal so that it's, whoops, uh, so it's not just sitting out there flopping all around as we go down this bumpy runway. Morris B6598, November Tango Zulu taxi. November Tango Zulu, Morris go ahead. November Tango Zulu taxi, Yifki, Wanakipa, 1 POB. November Tango Zulu. Station Yifki 1285, November Tango Zulu, taxiing Yifki Wanakipa, uh, will be below 6,000. Trimming aboard. We're going to be airspeed alive by those guys up there, sitting down that little house down there by the school. Otherwise, we'll just stay on the runway, full reverse, heavy braking, flaps up, kind of pull up and shut up, going off, just go off straight ahead. After takeoff, we'll make a left hand turn to lower terrain. Pitch for 85, consider EPO, consider feather. Otherwise, 85, then 80, pull flaps, cut up, pull up, shut off, emergency's masters, and crack my door. Ignition inlet and lights are good. Harnesses are good. We've already done SAR. 26 degrees at 3,000. 1440. Ignition condition flaps 20, fuel and harnesses. 1440. Rotate at 56. All right, here we go. This is a 7% slope, just FYI. There we go. Torque is set. Air speed's alive. We're continuing. There's 50. There's airborne. It's for 73 just initially till we're just up and up over these trees. Now we go ahead and lower the nose. and start making our turn out here to Wanakipa. And so this kid, um, I don't know what happened to him, but he broke his pelvis bone, his pelvis, and maybe one or one of his legs, I'm not sure, but he was like a, eight, a six to eight hour hike from this airstrip. And we just weren't able to, we weren't in the area, we were already flying everywhere else around PNG and weren't able to come help him. So this is the first day that we've actually been able to come help him and they just got him to the airstrip just yesterday afternoon. I have to fly up to Tari, which is another, I don't know, 20 minute flight. Oh, yeah, 20, 20 minute flight up over the mountains. There are so many clouds out today. I'm really hoping that I can get up there because I don't have the fuel to be just kind of mucking around and trying all these different options today. I just have my minimum fuel because that's all I could take with the amount of weight I had bringing out here to Yifki. Morris B6598, November Tango, Zulu, departure. Uh, 
sound like it, so I'll try him in just a second then. So, while well, we have a quick second, let's throw autopilot altitude select on so I can pull out my strip chart for Wanna Keep a. Wanna Keep a 2100 feet elevation, 589 meters long. It is, I think it's 7% 7, 7 slope. So the same as Yifki out here. Morning fog, afternoon showers. And mid-final is the missed approach point prior to the Kunai Plateau. So there's like a little hill on the right side. We can land with a seven knot tail when full up. We're completely empty though. Mars me six five nine or eight, November Tango Zulu departure. November Tango Zulu Mars November Tango Zulu departed Yifki, time one niner, tracking two four three, not above six thousand, estimating want to keep a two niner. November Tango Zulu, Eric one zero zero seven, next call six five three eight. Zero zero seven six five three eight, next November Tango Zulu. You guys are interested in getting some sunglasses just like these? Helping the channel out. I've got them on my website. I've got silver, gold. They're glass lenses, and they've lasted me a really long time. They don't even have any scratches on them, and I clean them a lot. So if you want some high-quality glasses for a good price, check that down below. All right, so I am heading to Tari. Tari, where is Tari? Let's just put it in here. Let's go nearest Tari. Let's do airport, there we go. All right, so once I basically get up into this last valley up here, I'll be looking up here to see if it's something that I think I can actually do. Because I have to say VFR with these because these are commercial passengers, so it's a little bit different. And when there's a lot of clouds, and I think I have to get up to bare minimum 7,500 feet to get over the mountains into Tari. I'm at 4,300 now, and coming out here this morning, all of these clouds here were like at around 12,000. So for just a 19 minute flight, climbing up to 12, 13,000 feet and then immediately dropping down and hoping that the valley up in Tari is open, that's a lot of ifs. Although it's already looking better just as I'm coming around this corner, so that's that's good. All stations want to keep it. One two eight five November Tango Zulu seven miles to the north four thousand three hundred. Circuit time want to keep it two seven. Uh, it's going to be landing on runway one eight. So let's go ahead and get Tari out of here now. OBS runway one eight zero. 2,100 feet, so let's go down to 3,100 feet for our pattern altitude. Okay, it's not looking great, but it's nice and sunny high up over there, which is a good sign that it might work. That's basically the valley that I'm heading up, so I think it should work. So I'll pile it off, we're just two minutes out. Yeah, it's actually looking pretty decent up that way. Fuel selectors are good, our TAWS is off, our VREF should be the same. We're going to be 5,600, so yeah, 65 knots, okay. Lights and inlet. The abort, okay, good, the valley's open. Uh, the abort's going to be mid-final, power up, 20 degrees, right-hand turn out. Pitch for 73, or pitch for 73. Let's start over. <laughs> Stumbling over my words here. Power up, 20 degrees of flaps. Pitch for 73, right hand turn out, reset. Our ITG 740. Do pop and harness here in a second. We'll do harness now. All stations want to keep it. 125 November Tango Zulu joining the circuit. Want to keep it. Winds are looking good here. Mars V6538, November Tango Zulu in the circuit. Want to keep a cancel SAR. Yeah, I'm going to 
That's actually looking really good right up that valley. Okay, awesome. And this valley's looking really nice too. Prop and harness. Both the done. Landing clearance is done. Gonna fly over, come back around. I have so they know I'm here and so I can take a look to see if they've cut the grass or not, because it's been about a year since I've been out here and they're pretty notorious for not cutting their grass very well. Or at least very often. Ten degrees of flaps. Uh yeah, yeah. Looks like someone's been here, you got tracks on it, but it does look like the grass is a little bit longer just because the coloration of it and it's not like all uniform and but it doesn't look too bad. Looks like about a third of the way up. Off to the right of it has some longer grass. And again, it's got some really good tracks there. So it looks like someone's been in been in here a couple of times lately. Anyway, I have a couple of rugby balls I'm gonna be giving to these guys for Christmas out here, so that's pretty cool. Someone donated them. 250 air 65 75 and 85 we're slowing to 85 now and we'll go 20 degrees of flaps a little bit high 3100 is our pattern altitude turning final 2600 and slowing to 85 base 2800 500 500 Same base now we'll just hug this mountain right here going to 75 there's 2850 2600 turning final there's 75 Oh, it was. <laughs> We're going to the second ridge that I see out there. If you turn too early, because you can't, I can't even see the runway right now at all. Uh, that's why we set up our OBS. 500. Speed on down to 75, so when I turn for final, it's a little bit better where I want. There's a full flaps checklist is complete. There's 2600. Turning final, slowing to 65 knots. A little bit early on my turn. Five hundred. Four hundred on the descent. We're looking for around five fifty, so that means I'm a little shallow. I'll hold my altitude just for a second. Get back up on the glide slope. There we go. Go for about the first cone that I can see going in. I guess second cone, I should say. And I'm committed. Do not crosswind. There's 450 on the descent. It's 500, that's looking better. I'll be airborne well before any of that longer grass. Oh, welcome here to Wanakipa. Beautiful mountain straight ahead. Nice huge cliff face. We'll get this kid loaded up and anybody else that's going along on this flight, give out a couple of rugby balls and 
Hopefully the Atari flight works out. It looks like he's right there in front of us on a stretcher, so... After four days, man, that's a long time. Be waiting for somebody. Well, thanks for watching. If you guys liked it, give it a video, a thumbs up, share it with your friends, whatever else. If you guys would like to fly this exact same route or learn how to fly the Kodiak, I actually have a course down below that teaches you how to fly the Kodiak for a flight simulator. And now that the Microsoft Flight Sim Kodiak is out, that's available. You guys can pick that up and then learn how to fly exactly like I do. So thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.